So, as you may recall in the last few episodes, uh, Ted may or may not have left his whole family behind. <laughs> oh, will you shut up with your tuba? Soup. I need lots of lots, lots, and lots of soup. A little bit more soup. A little bit more soup. I forgot my family. I forgot. Yeah, screw your family. So that is exactly why Dolores decided to be a dick right back at him. And she's going to bring her whole family into the bunker, except for Ted, because he's an asshole and left them to die last time. Shall we get started? Okay, where's my shit? Is there a radio? <gasps> radio. Yes. Grab it. Grab it. I pushed the wrong button. Okay. Already wasted a bit of time, but that's fine. Toss it down. Okay. I gotta remember to bring the kids, except for Ted. Ted gets to die. Spare bullets, got it. Get it, okay, got it. Okay, Mary Jane, where are you, you bastard? Come here. Get some soup. And go, 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 get out. Okay, get, go, go, go. Ooh! Well, I don't mind there being a bunch of soup and water right next to the hatch. Uh, medkit, 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 medkit. Bit of water, maybe? Bit more water? Ooh, get into the shelter! <sighs> All right, Ted, see you later, motherfucker! <laughs> ah, that's what you get, you bastard. <laughs> nice! Oh no, now I'm stuck with a family. Ugh. Oh no. <laughs> right! However, this time we have a med kit, which we did not have last time, and that is the one thing that led to Ted's death. So now we have more victim- I mean... Survivors? And we have a medkit to save them if necessary. So, I'd say we're quite better off to a good start now. I can't speak. <laughs> but alright, let's get started. So, here we are. The three of us are safe and sound. We just need to make it work from now on. We really wish it was four of us. Trust, you don't. <laughs> don't lie about that. We can't remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter. But we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. There's a flashlight! Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to the cans. Some of us already do. Wonderful. Ted's dead. So let's see. Now we have more mouths to feed, which kind of sucks a little bit. But you know, it's fine. Day one. We decided to have some fun and play a game or two. The first one was picking the game we are going to play. This took us most of the day and we still haven't made up our minds. <laughs> right. What a great way to spend the first day. Right, wonderful. And this time we have a radio too. So that's good. I just realized I don't have a single weapon. I don't have an ax, I don't have a gun. I have bullets, but I don't have a gun. <laughs> wonderful. Day two. Wouldn't you know it. Our dear Mary Jane keeps a diary. For some reason, she was hiding it in the scout book. We have no doubts what needs to be done right now. Each of us must be assigned a role and the diary must be read aloud. Right? I'm slightly tempted. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we can't die from this decision. We can just be a dick to Mary Jane. So I say hell to the yes, I'm reading her diary. <laughs> Aloud. She's gonna hate me, isn't she? Oh, she looks fine. She doesn't look that annoyed. If anything, Dolores looks annoyed. <laughs> right. We managed to read the first sentence. Then there was darkness and pain. Lots of pain. The diary is gone. Let's never speak of this again. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I think Mary Jane is a better weapon than an axe or a gun would ever be. <laughs> so, let's see. If there's one thing we need, it's water for Dolores, okay? Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. Timmy got her. How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. <gasps> Mary Jane hurt Timmy. <laughs> Timmy's hurt. <laughs> well... I should have kind of expected that. But I don't want to waste the medkit already. Oh, come on! Everybody needs water, so let's get y'all a glass of water. And you know what? Since Mary Jane is such a weapon of mass destruction, I'm preparing an expedition for tomorrow, and I'm sending Mary Jane out. <laughs> Mary Jane didn't utter a single word today. This is very odd. Maybe someone should find out what's going on with her. Let's, let's ask her what's up. 
Is it because we read your diary? Because in that case, I'm not sorry. Okay, we're all still alive. Mary Jane has not killed anyone yet. Fantastic. <laughs> Nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over a hot beverage. We don't have the latter, but talking alone seems to do the trick. We can't ignore Timmy's injuries. Timmy's no longer- Okay, no one's thirsty, but we can't ignore Timmy's injuries. Oh, such a waste! Right, we need to make a choice for today's expedition. Which one of us is best fit to face the wasteland and survive? Mary Jane? <laughs> so, you get a gas mask and that's all you get. You'll do fine with that, Mary Jane. Have a good life. Possibly afterlife. Right, we'll see when she returns. Timmy, you greedy piece of shit. You had to use that, didn't you? You had to use the medkit, didn't you? Let's see. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Equipment. Gas mask. Timmy has healed up. Dolores is doing quite well. Or she just can't find anything to complain about today. <laughs> right, wonderful. Let's see. <clears throat> We were discussing plans for our first meal that didn't feature tomato soup when we heard yells outside. We discovered they came from a small group of ragged survivors. They were a sorry sight and we weren't surprised when they requested aid. They asked us to provide anything we could. Water, food or medical supplies. Uh, well, I guess the only thing I can spare is food. Maybe this will help me in the future? Here you go. Take, 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 take some soup. I'm gonna be nice, because I don't want to make any enemies here in the wasteland. I'm still alive, that's good. Did her hair change? I don't know, maybe it did. Possibly. Our visitors had problems finding enough words to express their gratitude. Many tears were shed, smiles and hugs exchanged. Ah! <laughs> oh, I should have just let them die. <laughs> Joking, of course, I would help someone if they needed it. <laughs> right. And they wished us all the best. It's a great feeling to be helping someone out. They left soon after to seek shelter in the ruins of their town. We hope they make it out of here. Wait, hold up. They're not gonna help us? After us helping them? Bastards! Let's see, if there's anything we need, it's water for Dolores. And Timmy prefers apple juice, but right now, he we should get him some water. Right, you greedy pieces of shit. <laughs> Let's see. That radio of ours has been silent for the past few hours. We need our news. We need our music. We all agree on that. And if it's refusing to cooperate, we need to meddle with it until it works. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. That, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna say no. This is my first no of this gameplay, but no. That does not seem like a good idea. See? Now it works. Ain't that lovely? We're sure they're just experiencing technical difficulties. Yes, that's it. Everything will be just fine. Yes, indeed. A few more hours of coughing and we'll get used to it. Our ventilation fans have halted and no fresh air seems to be circulating through the shelter. We have to fix it before we suffocate like rats trapped by a professional and very cruel rat catcher. Oh. Okay, last time I did this, right, I I was with Ted, I had this exact scenario, I used a flashlight and he got attacked by bugs. So, I'm gonna read the Boy Scout book, maybe that'll tell us something, for some reason. Oh, Timmy, my boy! <laughs> so Timmy's not doing well. Using the handbook to research vent maintenance seemed like a fair idea. We figured it, if it's full of pointers on how to fix things, it must have a chapter on nuclear shelter air filtration. Before we could check, we were invaded by an angry group of mutant insects. Their stings hurt like hell and seemed to give us a fever. Oh, that's not good. Well, Timmy, you already used the first aid kit, so you can blame yourself. Actually, uh, no one's hungry, we don't need to fix it. Alright. Uh, it's really weird when you get that feeling that something's watching you. Our shelter is tiny, but this has been bugging us for a while now. Is there something alive down here? Besides us? Maybe a rodent of some kind? If so, we need to show it that we are the dominant species in this little paradise of ours. Yeah, I don't have anything to do there. <laughs> are you still alive? Okay, we're still alive. That's good. 
As we were running around looking for something to smash that furry rodent with, it just disappeared. So did one of our food cans. The question is, how did that devil fit it through one of those little holes? Oh, this is going worse than it went with Ted, and Ted went insane on the first day. This is going worse. Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink. Dolores will not last without water. Oh my lord, this is going much worse than it did with Ted. <laughs> Let's see. We had some spare ammunition, but now it's gone. We don't know how or when it must have been misplaced. We need to find it, and soon. Good thing I have a flashlight, which I did not pack, but I had it. Hey, Mary Jane's back, and we found our bullets. Fantastic. Found it! The ammunition clip was covered by a can. Too bad it was empty, but at least we have our bullets back. Hey, nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. Uh, sure. We decided to finally check what we can find between the rubble in our own backyard. Our poor, poor lawns and flowers. Once the object of desire of the whole neighborhood, now reduced to nothing more than radioactive ash covered by debris. Our tool shed is gone. Except the door, which stands stubbornly with nothing around it. It served its purpose, though an axe hanging on the other side was completely covered from the blast. Looks as good as new. Hey, we got an axe! Let's go! Let's eat. We used to barbecue here almost every weekend. The barbecue itself found its way onto a power line in front of our house. How the hell did it do that? Our garden table is mo mostly destroyed. Under bits of and pieces of charred wood, we found a few things that could prove to be useful. Medkit! We could save Timmy's life for now. <laughs> the garage still has two walls left, but most things inside are gone. Not even the bicycles made it. But weirdly enough, the baskets installed on top of them did. We found some leftover supplies there from our last bicycle trip. Water! We're, okay, maybe this isn't going as bad as I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> it's, a, it's a rough start, yes, but it's fine. If we don't do anything about Timmy's sickness, it might get worse. All right, Timmy's not thirsty. Jane is hungry and tired, though. Okay, we can feed her, and we can use the med kit on Timmy now. We can help him. I mean, as much as I don't like my kid, I kind of have to help him because I'm actually planning to send him out next for an expedition. <laughs> so, I mean, like... No, oh, Mary Jane will surely die if she goes outside. Wait, wait. I'm gonna wait one day to see if Timmy gets better. And then if Timmy's better, I'll send him out the next day. So day 12, Timmy, you're going outside. Let's see. It's high time wondering about what's going on and started asking questions. Or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So how about tuning into a station on the radio and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? Sure thing. Sounds fun. Timmy's fine. I can send him out to the wasteland. <laughs> Wonderful. Right. <clears throat> Day 11. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement channels. Hey! <laughs> and guess what? Great news! The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. That's good. Jane is quite hungry. Mary Jane is very, still very tired. Let's give her some time to recover. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Jesus, Mary Jane, Mary Jane, this and that. Wow. Dolores would really love to eat something. And Timmy is hungry. But he's cured. Alright, so everybody needs food. Got it. Uh, I'm preparing an expedition for tomorrow, Timmy, and I'm sending you out. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> We're not certain about the situation on the surface. Our trip could be risky. But we could really use some supplies. Hell yeah, I'm sending Timmy out. Let's see. We can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker. Or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who could have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it on our own. The escaping part, not the ruining part. Of course. <laughs> However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. Yes, indeed. Right. Let's see. Good news! The government made a radio broadcast about extracting survivors from our area. We'll get out of here soon. Lovely. 
Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Oh my lord, Mary Jane, stop needing food! I know you were outside for a few days, but still. Let's see, Mary Jane is tired, she becomes cranky, she should be better in a few days. Right. Mary Jane keeps fading, fainting. We really need to find her something to drink, fast. Okay, Dolores is not hungry, but Dolores is thirsty though. And same thing for Timmy. Alright, everybody needs liquids. Uh, did Mary Jane need food? Yes, Mary Jane needs food. Got it! Right, Timmy, my boy! Your turn to go out to the wastelands. Right, Mary Jane. Girl's name. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god, what happened to you, Mary Jane? 